Simon Benson, last week in the Daily Telegraph in Sydney, wrote, if Bishop should be sacked, so should Labor's leader of business, Tony Burke, wrote Simon Benson. His habitual pushing of the envelope on travel expenses, including flying his family business class to the outback and to Byron Bay during school holidays, has forced him to repay dozens of expenses he admits were wrongly claimed. This man spent last, the last three weeks pointing the bone at Bronwyn Bishop. This is the man who on 15 occasions over five years has been forced to pay back money that he improperly appropriated to himself. And indeed, he used a family taxpayer-funded money, business class trip to Uluru with his family during the school holidays. Now, because politicians are away from their family for a fair amount of time, quite legitimately, they are allowed a quote-unquote family allowance while they are in Canberra. In other words, you bring the family together and no one would disagree with that. While they are in Canberra. Now, not for Mr Burke. He took a taxpayer-funded business class trip to Uluru during the 2012 school holidays. He used a family reunion entitlement to take four family members from Ballina to Sydney during the 2010 school holidays. A family holiday package for three nights to Uluru costs as little as $774, not for Mr Burke, $1,497, not including the taxpayer-funded business class flights of $2,164. Mr Burke denied that he arranged a trip to Uluru at the same time as the school holidays. He said, I had to spend three or four days working at Uluru and that trip was happening while school holidays were on. Of course, if you pull the other leg... It'll pay Elvis Presley. This is the man pointing the bone relentlessly for three weeks at Bronwyn Bishop over $5,000. Indeed, Jeff emailed me today and said, Mr Burke has rewritten the definition of hypocrisy, caught out 15 times that we know of for expense excesses, didn't learn after the first mistake, nor the second, nor apparently the 14th. But it's worse than that because parliamentarians are entitled to a thing called office facilities, expenses for office facilities, and that includes things like rent, cleaning, utilities, repairs, maintenance, publications, and that sort of stuff. Most MPs manage to stay below the ridiculous figure, I might add, of $100,000 for every six months. In over three years, from 2012 to 2014, Mr Burke's office facilities have exceeded $840,000. 2012 to 2014. This is the bloke pointing the bone at Bronwyn Bishop. More than those at the Speaker, 712000 This is 840000 He was paid, was paid 404000 for, quote, office administration, from 2012 to 2014, his most recent claims included charter services, despite claiming on his Twitter account that he no longer had a charter account. In the second half of last year, Mr Burke claimed $31,000 for charter services. He wasn't a minister. In the 2012-13 financial year, his charter claims were $59,000. This is the bloke, as I said, this is your money, your money. In the first half of 2013, as Labor prepared to fight an election, Mr Burke's office expenses topped $171,000. In the first six months of 2012, Mr Burke also had one of the highest claims for office facilities, $144,000. Now, I think the public would say, by all means, get rid of Bronwyn Bishop and punish her. But I think what the electorate would want to say and the taxpayers would want to say, OK, wheel out everyone, every MP and every senator and shove the expenses on the line, put them all under the microscope and see how many would pass muster. That may yet happen because Tony uh, Abbott has ordered, as you know, a root and branch review of these entitlements.